Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> Hello! I guess I'm in charge of the show. Oh. I did nothing yeah. wrong. <clears throat> no, never. Not ever. Not even once? Just want to point right. that out. That's my <laughs> tagline. That's usually what I say. You know that, right? Yeah, but this time it wasn't it wasn't your fault at all, thief. It was it was clearly oh, his. He, he misspoke. He said he's done nothing wrong, as opposed to what he meant to say, the true statement, he's done nothing right. Yeah. I uh <clears throat> I stand by my powers as a dark necromancer of the Witch Moor. Well Yeah, do you? Even now? Even even after everything that we've just been through? Just, yeah, for, for future reference, maybe you should be aware of some of the effects going on outside of just necromancy and just basic magic in general. Like... You know, I, I regularly boggle to think of all the things you could do with your immense powers if they were in capable hands. Yeah, well, um, we had a very successful quest yesterday. <laughs> uh... Is, is and, that uh, the term you for? Successful? We had, we had a successful quest, and we got high, highly paid. Lots of signals, and that's, uh, that's it. So tonight's show is going to be short and sweet, because I have nothing to talk about. I mean, it went great. It's a really funny thing for you to say, because it sounds like we should be rolling signals, whereas my coffers are strangely light. Although, for unrelated reasons, they certainly haven't been added to. I... Indeed, I sympathize with Arcturus in this matter, for my coffers are equally as light as his, and I do not very much enjoy that feeling. I I'm actually down in profits. I mean, I I I'm in the red for certain. I've had to spend signas that I already had. I've had to spend those on just getting cleaned up. Okay? I'm what? still finding... Dirt and mud places. I shouldn't. Well, That's I mean, what happens when you roll in the mud, Pentecost? Oh, that, right. Because I was the one rolling in the mud on purpose. Yes, yes, that's what it was. Okay, you know what? Just because I was basking in the mud baths, does not that it was a bad ladies, thing. Ladies, ladies, we were all kicked in mud because, in context, it seemed like a brilliant idea. And why did it seem like a brilliant idea, Magog? Yes, Magog. Yeah, why? Why? Yeah. Why, why is, it such is a my grand favorite idea? corset all brown now? That that I don't know. Uh, I I really can't tell you. <clears throat> I think that the quest went rather well, and uh, before we, you know, get too far into it, since I guess you want to talk about it, I'll go ahead and do my intro. Welcome to Side Quest, everyone. I'm Lord Magog, the leader of the Wicked Guild and the greatest necromancer to have ever lived. I am joined by my wicked cohorts, uh, the Nameless Thief, Arcturus, and Pentagast. As usual, all donations through Streamlabs, Super Chats, and Cash App are appreciated as it keeps our treasury filled so we can continue to entertain you week after week. Please keep in mind, if you donate to Cash App, put your screen name in the message itself. Thank you so much for watching. I shall sum up our quest yesterday. I uh, was contacted by uh, some local noble lords who've been having trouble uh, with the dry nay who uh, are uh, violently territorial woodland sprites that have been terrorizing the withering woodlands. And so we were sent in to take care of them. And they proved to be rather adversarial foes, uh, rather difficult to defeat. But we were successful. And that's all I have to say. We did a great job. And we did get a little dirty, but you can do the laundry. It's not that hard to do the laundry. We can play it. Never done laundry in my life, and I'm not going to start now. I believe we've all gotten splinters. Well, no one should ever get splinters. In between your big toe and your second biggest toe. Okay, there, there's a slight chance that I may have forgotten that during the Undor, which is when the great moon Una moves in front of the sun. And eclipses it that on those rare days that happen every, I don't know, 80 years or so, that uh, during that eclipse, 
there are negative magic effects when casting spells. Now, this is not like the Lunavar cycle, all right, that, that causes magic to go awry on Vithika night. This is more the, um, there are these... When you cast a spell, even no matter how simple, uh, sometimes there are negative effects, all right? And I possibly may have forgotten the negative effects of depleting intelligence uh, on those affected. Um, depleting in intelligence? I didn't know how to speak for the entire time we were out there. It was just a gibbering... But I kind of wonder how you remember to draw breath. It's amazing we still remembered. To breathe? Yeah. Well, well I, yeah. I might have forgot a few times. But God but... had one job, ladies and gentlemen. One job as the magic user of our group. And what did he do? He bungled it. And he didn't even need lower intelligence to do it. He just stumbled into it. Bungled it. The single worst time to do this particular job down to the minutes in which he cast uh <laughs> now now what what is what is obs re uh, disconnected obs reconnected i'm getting all kinds of alerts over here that figures that's what i get that's what i get i did not know that the effects of the eclipse would carry on into today i honestly had no idea now, instead of looking like idiots, we just look like fools. What's the difference? Honestly, there is no... involves something called a buffer. One doesn't know that... ...on the CD record of this. <laughs> I have they no idea. Both things, uh, figuratively. I have no idea what... ...what all of this is happening. <laughs> My God, have you tried zapping it with your magics yet? No, 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 don't do that. Juice. Don't do that. But what if it helps? I d And ultimately, could it really make it any worse? I mean, yes, truly. Yeah, I don't know how much of that, what just happened, made it to the actual shit. Like, I'll have to watch it later on the crystal and see what happened. But, I mean, we're back, it seems. Everything's back up to green. But I have no idea what just happened. Honestly, I have no control over anything anymore, apparently. He's lost it, ladies and gentlemen. Lost it! Although I'm not sure that he ever really truly had it to begin with. No, well, I didn't. I know that. I never had it, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Never had it. Yes. And then Arcturus thinks that he has it, but doesn't actually have it. Right. And then I actually have it, and I know that I have it. Yes, uh, once yes again, my I test came back negative. It's a mud rash, okay? I swear, it is just a mud rash from us covering ourselves in leaves, rotting leaves, and sticks, and mud, what, okay? What worries me right now is it looks to me as though Mag Magog is moving in slow motion. Are you sure he's not just sitting there? No, he's moving in slow motion, and, I, and there's no sound. He's just... It, it's very strange. He's just sitting there, menacingly. Magog Gixi has crashed. Womp womp. The crystals are being difficult because on one side the crystals are are, are, are wrong, but then the but then the the the, the crystal. It, it, there's 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 multiple levels of time fuckery about, and it's very very confusing to me. I don't like it at all. I think it's yes, intentional. It, you have to understand that sometimes the magic of the crystals that allow us to communicate over vast distances as well as pierce through the veil into an alternate dimension that no one thought existed until I discovered it, the Earth Realm, that every now and again, the spirit magic that's powering the crystals and that connection to the Earth Realm, using a soul crucible, sometimes gets a little janky. You have to mm. unjanky it. Is that a word? Uh, is that um, what you were? Unjanking, doing? yes. With the with the hand puppets. Yes. Oddly enough, the yeah. very f the very first like magical control apparatus I created to use this magic 
had a strange, like, you had to do this motion to keep the magic flowing. <laughs> which is very odd. <laughs> I, I, got ri- I got rid of that one. Control. Well, no, that was that was control to the Earth Realms, this. Like, so you had wow. to kind of, you had to alternate. Like this. So, in short, okay. Magog's letting us know that he wasn't just screwing with us, he was fixing the stream using the power of... Um, Gesticulating hand moments. Dance. Yes. Interpretive dance makes the magic I wonder, work. I wonder if I have this power as well. You do not. I, I definitely feel like showing a... a, a it's, it's not really interpretive j- dance as much as an interpretive gesture. And I don't know if I should do that or not. Has the show been buffering any more since I did my hand movements? No, of course not, because I fixed it. Well, I, f- I am fixed great. it earlier. It's not anything you did. It's it's not been buffering for like five minutes now. You but just my so hand trusted. movements didn't make it worse, and therefore oh, I made God, it I'm better. Not... What? <laughs> I think that switched slow enough to work. I'm getting better. He's trying to puppet me. Sometimes I think Arcturus is nothing but a bunch of squirrels <laughs> piled into human clothing and holding some sort of magically controlled puppet head. You know, I wouldn't be surprised it's... if that were the case. What if they're using necromancy to just puppet a dead person's head? No, that's what I would do. But wraith squirrels would totally try to pretend to be persons. So how many squirrels do you think make up Arcturus? See, I know you can't believe this for a second because you would treat wraith squirrels with respect. They would murder you repeatedly. Not necessarily. There are subspecies of wraith squirrel that are actually very kind and want to be nice to humans. Before they eat their eyeballs. Ah. Hey, why is it always the eyes? Why is that? The is eyes are the... Juicy? The eyes and the butthole are windows to the soul. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> are you sure it's not just because they're juicy? Jitsu. The eyes and the butthole. <laughs> it's the eyes and the butthole. <laughs> I don't. As you are going like with this, that. you're not going to get me to show either on crystal. Oh no. <laughs> no, not. It. I don't <laughs> know. Just. Spilled. Just, just, just try not to say that to a girl that you're on a date with. Like, it's not romantic to say gazing into your butthole has me swooning in love with you because I can see how pure your soul is through your butthole. I suppose that really rather depends on what they're into. I guess that depends on the girl, true. Try try your best not to gaze longingly into each other's buttholes. Here's Disclaimer. Give. <laughs> this gives new meaning to the phrase brown girl. If you can stare longingly into each other's buttholes, the relationship must be going pretty well. Speaking of buttholes, Octane Junkie <laughs> has donated. <laughs> speaking, speaking of assholes, um, Octane Junkie has donated 100 signals uh, to say attack for arc plus a Poe power up. There we go. It's, and so it begins with Octane Junkie doing uh, wonderful things, gazing longingly into buttholes on his side of the portal. As on a almost daily basis, that man is a butthole fanatic. <laughs> yeah, when you phrase it that way, you should really encourage them all to start buttholes. I mean, that's at least three of us here. Butthole enthusiast. Are there, there, are there butthole enthusiasts in the world? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, God. The crescent, the crescent folds of this particular butthole. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> it's like a, it's like an art installation. <laughs> where, where you, All like, of you out of my misery. <laughs> 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 
Thank you, Octane Junkie, for buying us this rare up to two minutes of class and dignity. As brought to you, as you would have expected, reasonably, me, who does own a buttered dish. I didn't catch the rest of the conversation. I don't want to know what you're trying to imply by that, but it's weird. I own lots of dishes. It's part of being absurdly wealthy. And since you've uh, given me the time to speak, I should be angry about what Magog has done. And I am. I see the bright side of it, though. I mean, it was kind of blissful for a moment not to ever second guess myself about anything whatsoever. I can see why they're so damn cheery, even though, quite frankly, I wonder why, if they could be self-aware, they would want to continue living in the first place. Which brings me to why I'm really upset. Three years ago, I made a miscalculation by wagering against someone very powerful here that this one jackass would die within that year's season, and if I lost, I swore to pay for every year they continued to draw breath. And year after year, that selfish prick continues to live. I refer, of course, to Pentagast. I mean, I really had no odds of him surviving that first. Actually, I remember it was kind of fuzzy around then, but even if I almost want to forget the bet the person I waited against won't. Never. Yeah, God won't want the memory of him, bastard. So that's really cost me a lot of signals of late. If anyone uh, would see fit to go and kill Pentagast before the cox crow, in a way that lasts, it would save me a fortune and make me a much less miserable individual. So I've been contemplating this idea of appreciating buttholes on like an artistic scale. Oh, and gosh, I think <laughs> <sighs> What? If you must continue, do so. <laughs> yeah. I joke, I kid, of course. I I I <clears throat> I am the great Magog of Moscar and I cannot in essence do anything wrong. So, uh, as for the quest yesterday, the debacle was clearly all of your fault because you can't seem to operate on a normal level as party members of a questing guild simply because you've lost a few, and I mean a minor few, intelligence points. So, I, uh... Can I blame all Arcturus of you. Arcturus covered himself in mud. Pentagast couldn't speak a word. And I... I was dancing. Like a little girl. That's because you are one. You're, you're a little girl. Uh, uh, hmm. Little, littler girl. Like, I, yes. I mean, compared to me, I'm remember. rather giant for Gotham descent. You know, so... You know what? Yes, I remember convincing myself I... it was a diversionary tactic at the time and let her get away with it as opposed to insist that she take part in the proper camouflage. Although, certainly the Dryney saw to it that she was as caked in mud as the rest of us by the end. Why is it that the Dryne stopped fighting us and simply looked baffled and confused with our antics? And that is because my plan worked. It was a brilliant strategy on my part to distract them and to calm their wrath and their nature's rage so that they stop terrorizing the surrounding regions. So, in essence, I did my job. I don't trust any of this because the one thing I do remember is that you were casting magic on all of us, but never casting any towards yourself. Indeed, I think I recall this as well. Well, I Why is that? can Magog? tell you this Why? right now, that that is untrue. I cast a warding spell on myself as well, because nature magic is up in opposition to my magic. And so without a warding spell, I could have been greatly injured. I could have gotten cuts and bruises upon my person. Oh, oh, Very easily. Oh, oh, Very easily. Oh, no. 
did you cast your own protections before or after the eclipse? Hmm. I distinctly remember casting all the warding spells on all of us, the all four party members, before we engaged with the Drynae. So it was at the same time as you all. I mm -hmm. was affected as much as you all were. Right. Um, yeah, let me uh, hop in here. It's Octane Junkie, the shiny day. Activate me for a moment, and I just want to kind of throw this out there that um, there's a solid chance Magog was unaffected by the negative intelligence, um, mostly because he's a, he's a fucking dumbass to begin with. There's a good chance that he's too fucking stupid to not be affected by his negative intelligence status effects. From his own fucking magic. I'm just putting it out there. You people fucking suck at questing. You need to do better. Make more money so that I can have nice things, you fox. Thank you for We're watching Side Quest. I You're really so want to argue, though, but he's got a point. Look, I know for a fact each and every one of us is capable of doing terrible things. Ruinous things. But put us on one party and all we're Cable love is just terrible. It's crazy how every time Poe speaks, it hurts us. But at least in like the old days, when people like activated Poe, he would like kill us automatically, which I didn't think was very fair, and it was very unbalanced. So I changed the magic system of the show, <laughs> and it takes a brilliant mind to do that. So counterpoint to Poe's accusation that I'm dumb, that I was unaffected by the negative intelligence. Status effects. I say on to you, sir. This all is happening because of me, because I'm brilliant. That's it. Counter, counterpoint to your point, to your counterpoint. Aren't you the same wizard that set himself on fire in front of an audience accidentally? No. No, that never happened. No? Don't know what you're talking about. My Am I misremembering? Chat, yes. help me out here. Nope, you're I definitely... I think I'm about to spell and... Look. Press. I recall this vividly. I... No, no. I've seen this before. Uh -huh. I know what this is. This is, a, this is a lack of intelligence so impervious to being affected that it simply doesn't get affected. He's it, it, it's 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 so far below intelligence that it that status effects it boosts nothing works because it's no, at the baseline. So it, the implication he is like in this case like patient zero or something or or the the, the line is him. There is, is no it, oh. slander okay. slander. It's it's I find that. this implausible. I find it more plausible that being a dark wizard of necromancy, he's uh, inverted his natural stats and that he's only able to breathe right now is because he's actually gaining intelligence from having a negative intelligence stat. So when his intellect was diminished further, it actually made him a little bit brighter for the span of time. Well, that's, so that's you're that. saying that by sucking the intelligence out of us, he put it into himself and... No, I don't think he planned able... it out nearly that well. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a pen to gas point. It's it, it he's kind of on the right path. It's it's more when it comes to Magog, multiplying anything by zero, you just get zero. Uh, yeah. In this case, then Magog is the zero. Yeah, that. it, that's a ridiculous notion. Once again, I am living proof that mortals can ascend into godhood. Oh. I don't know why you people can't see it. I mean, every day I perform these magical tasks that allow us to communicate with another world. And you every doubt day. my intelligence. Seriously. Didn't, didn't this communication Extremely. apparatus yes, drop significantly at the beginning? That, that, was, a, a whole bunch that of was a... Technical... Yeah, 
That was a hiccup in the magic. That has nothing to do with the initial creation of this ultimate magic that no one else has done before but me. Right, but if you were such a, a supreme being in the matter of mystical arts and such, wouldn't you be able to foresee and circumvent any such hiccups in the magic, as it were? No, but I fixed it, didn't I? I jerked off the thing and looked at the butthole, and it fixed it. <laughs> you, you stared into the brown eye? Look. G gazed longingly. I was... I was rendered thoughtless, which isn't that difficult. I can handle that. But then I was puppeted by several things. My, look, my soul was gazed into by many a woodland fairy and dryne, and am not happy about any of it. I, and 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 all I have for a for a parting gift is being coated in more dirt and mud that have ever been covered, coated in, in my entire life, up till this point. And all I, and all I've got out of this is that somehow Magog is the zero in all things. Where's the payoff? There has to be a payoff at some point. Right. Something rewarding must come out of this. Easy. And I've Easy. got nothing. No, no, he no, it's okay. It's okay. Right. Wisdom. I'm muted. Don't worry. They can't hear me. I know, Argoth. I'm getting to it. It's, it's, it's a very easy thing to do. I mean, yes, of course the experiment was a success. They turned idiot the moment I cast a spell. It's not like we get eclipses all the fucking time. You can tell the Council of Gogs that the experiment was a success. <clears throat> well, yes, of course we could apply it to the entire world if we want to, but we'd have to gather enough magic. No. No, of course you're still going to pay me. Well, yes. Of course. Now, th I'll get back to you. <sighs> hey there. Anyway, what were we talking about? <clears throat> what were you or talking were you about? You were just saying that when you gaze into anus, the anus gazes back into you. Yes, something about buttholes and uh, whatever I used to distract you fucking idiots. What? You know what? Just because you mute us doesn't mean you mute yourself. You know that, right? What are you talking about? You know. No, no, don't know what. What we mean? I, I had to go check on um the hound. He's outside. Um, it's raining. It's raining. I had to uh -huh. make sure Jinx was doing all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. What were we talking yeah. about? I missed something. I forgot to tell you that I stepped away for a moment. So in a case, what? now you know why he has that egg. It's so he can smuggle it into prison easily when he needs to communicate from the big house. What egg? I don't know what you're talking about. The egg you were just talking to. There is no egg. There was never an egg. The egg is a lie. Don't, don't you play coy with us. I don't have any coy. I'm not about to reach into the anus to retrieve it. Not the fish. Knows. The state of denial. Mm. Very well. On the bright side, now that we do have this knowledge, our coffers have been lightened in some cases. I heard payment. And I heard, following that, cut. What is our cut? Indeed. I'd like to know. What? Oh, well, we didn't receive any reward because we did not defeat the dry night. They kicked our butts. You're like... I should receive compensation for my rash if you get to receive compensation for your back. Pay up. Uh, rash is not as bad as hurting one's back. You can... Oh, deal. oh, oh, do you have to live with this rash for the next two to four uh, weeks? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. All right, I'm just going to throw this out here. Forget everything up until this moment. I want everybody to focus on this moment, okay? You are a pirate of the brine uh -huh. i'm sure rashes are no unheard of thing with you i'm sure <laughs> that you have had your fair share and there are plenty of balms and solves and elixirs you can buy all throughout the brine to deal with whatever butthole rash you have 
Sir, what are say, you insinuating here? The thief's desperate effort to hide the evidence of her terrible life decisions and degeneracy should not distract from the fact that you owe us. I owe you nothing. Nothing. In any case, Thank the uh, audience was wondering what that was. Okay, it's not an egg. It's not a dime store symbol reel. If you know about a palantir, yeah, that, that's a, it's a positive. I feel like... <clears throat> I I like that. that was actually, like, really uh -huh. clever. Like, it didn't elicit, like, an ha-ha-ha uh, laugh, but I knew... Like, I knew the reference, and then he added, like, supposit, like it's a suppository. Like, I like the connection there, but the, it... Something about the delivery, you know? I think I think it would have been funnier if you'd called me, like, Smirnoff the wizard while you did it. Hmm. I, I, I'm... I'm being distracted. This is all... <laughs> this is... This is all a tactic. It is. It is. Um, I, I, back to what I hmm. was trying to say. Pentagast, Arcturus, I think we should unionize for better pay and working conditions. But no. And no? Oh, pose. What? <laughs> this is a brilliant idea. I'm not getting into any union involving you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you lie. Yeah, I just, nominate myself as treasurer. And, and that's why. And you nominate yourself as, as, like, whatever. No. <laughs> no. That's not a union. That's... I'm, um, I'm very good with money. I don't care. I don't, don't need you handling my money, that's for sure. I, I, I don't, I don't. to be fair, wouldn't trust anybody on this show, including myself, to be any kind of union represented. Like, Arturus has unions. He has unions upon unions of peasants, and they don't get shit. <laughs> they, don't, they don't get shit. Right. Yeah. So, he knows how to work that side of things. He could be an asset to us, my dear. We could actually get what we want. Now I think you're trying to distract me. I'm on to something, and I think you're all trying to work on keeping me distracted, keep my eyes off the prize, so to speak. I think Magog is using us as a freaking experiment. That's just no, completely... Has used. Has used. No. You have no... You have no the you research have no proof. never quits. It must continue. You have no proof of that at all. It's an absolutely all right. false slander. Slander, I call. Did I? Let's go back to the quest. I, I will admit that Pentecost had a really brilliant, like tactic on the battlefield, and he must be praised. Um, the, I did. Yes, you did. Um, after you had become disrobed, covered in mud, uh, gazing. Right. St standing there in the field, the Drine kind of looking at you, wondering what it is you were so fascinated on. Uh, the idea of staring at a pine cone for six hours and 48 minutes was rather brilliant. It, it was a good I distraction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I particularly enjoy the part where he started to munch on the pine cone from the bottom. Up. I was trying to get it to speak. Torture was was where I decided to go. It never spoke. Its will could not be broken. You do not understand. No the will can... of pine cones is undeniable. Everybody no. knows that. No, but everybody literally knows that. I don't even know why you bothered. All right, everybody knows pine cones don't talk under pressure. When, when, when was the last? When was the last time you tested it, though? One of them will break. We will break them. No. You know, I, I I think it's it's rather disturbing that uh, we're discussing torture and uh, consumption of baby trees. It, this is... It's pine cones. They're not people. They're, they're little seedlings. They're babies. I was terrified when you shoved the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> it got what it Why? deserved. She is the thief and she speaks for the trees. It, it, yeah. The trees say it's fuck you. You'd think she'd speak for the Cygnus, but she doesn't. I can talk to rocks, too. It's fine. Listen, listen the, you have to understand, the thief's love of trees 
comes from the fact that she lives in the brine and spends most of her time on the ocean, so she sees very few trees. True. Yes, and so you eating a baby tree was emotionally Yeah, that was, very you know, like, strange. potential, you know, yeah, potential parts of your ship to repair, make repairs, and Eventually. I denied you that, didn't I? Yes, you did. And I'll I'm deny more personally. of them. I'll deny you more. I, 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 the I, I, Withering I, I, Forest, uh, mark my words, the Withering Forest, I will take it. It will be mine, and it will become a barren waste of just dirt. No tree, no, not a blade of grass. I will, rem I will remove them all. I'm willing to assist in this. Besides, we might want to do that just a matter of principle. Apparently, we have entered the folklore of the Withering Woods. Our little debacle has been deemed the Battle of the Withering Mines. I have. Yeah, I heard the locals. The local fairy folk have already spread rumor throughout the surrounding villages and townships that a great battle of the Withering Mines took place. I think, uh, I think this is going to help us with marketing the Wicked Guild. Uh, to in future, you know, endeavors. Yeah. Yes. Indeed. Yes, real quick. The only point for us is that we're so caked in mug and twigs they don't have any accurate descriptions. But I'll know. I will always know. It really has burnt in memory. Look, does anyone have access to this Tremlids? I uh, do. I do, indeed. Let me r get this real quick because my system is messed up and if it scrolls up, I'll lose it. Okay, I'm... Um, uh, there's, there's magic gone awry tonight. Uh, Octane Junkie dropped 10 Cygnus uh, in the Super Chats to say, everybody chip in so Thief can get her crotch rot. I, uh, I mean rash. Yeah, rash taken care of. <laughs> it's poison oak. I don't know what you wanted from me. We were amongst the woods. Covered in mud yeah. and leaves. Yes, yes, we were in... The we were in the woods, covered, yeah, with trees and sticks. And if if you'd let me just simply take on the great work that I've decided to take on, you wouldn't have to worry about poison oak or pine cones or anything ever again. They'd be gone. You would never get poison oak. No more rash. And yet you're trying to stop me from taking on this new dream of mine. Forget the <laughs> Earth Realm. Excuse me, Pentagon. Just I came up with it. I support hours you. ago in the woods. I'm willing to provide resources and manpower to help you burn down the withering woods. So all yes. that's remembered is the burning idea. Yeah, there just be will there will just be burning, without the rash though. That's the important thing. Oh, withering, yes, yes, indeed. I enjoyed our trip to the withering woods because I picked up some grass. Looks old. Um, Why are you eating it like a cow? Oh man, those delayed negative intelligence status effects. I know it. It's a delayed reaction. I would explain. Like catnip from wizards. Also, hmm. did he just like have a bushel of grass, or did he like grab a clump from the ground? <laughs> Careful, it's careful. Still in the soil? No, no. We, we, we need to be quiet. He's crazy. If it lasts as long as in with us, we should be in for a spectacular remainder of the show. This is quite... Oh no, he's caught your scent. I think he sees us. <laughs> oh my god. You know, look. Um, he's, I'm trying. He, he, he's, well, he needs his fiber. We shouldn't condemn. He's grazing. That's fine. But later, he's going to require milking, and I'm not taking part in that. I ah, no! Gosh! Ark, you, you got this one, buddy. You, go <laughs> ahead. Not. You're a very right. capable and strong and uh, gentlemanly, and you know what? I yeah. believe you should... It, it, Undertake L this endeavor all by yourself. Thank you. No, no, even I'm not that cruel. Hire some of your people from your union. Get them to do it. We don't have a union, remember? He has unions. Oh. Uh, I just have serfs. <laughs> they will all do the job long before I... <laughs> but goo is all. <laughs> I can't take it. I 
Nom 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 nom. Goog I heard the crunch. <laughs> Oh, How's it going, boy? You need your veggies. Yes, good fiber. Very soon he will approach <laughs> zero. <laughs> I, I think, well, approaching absolute zero. zero and... while. Huh. He might go over time. I doubt he has the uh, intellect left to actually end this. So mm. we've got some potential hours to fill. I think, Thief, now would be an excellent time to touch those spoon lamps. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> oh, yes. So I shall. Um, the next six minutes donated to Sickness to say it appears Mighty Magog's magic is too strong because the viewing crystals appear to be suffering from the buffering. Legendary power indeed. The spell of the swirling circle cast upon Arcturus, Pentagast, and the Nameless Thief. Sinister dark magic. No, that was just the preemptive to what it is that is happening right now in this moment. That's what we know now to be true. Um, and then, secondly, Garrick donated five signals to say, finally, caught a show live. Glad I did. Are you? Are you glad you did? I would have doubts. <sighs> I have the most epic grass beard ever in the history of grass beards. Oh, well, yeah, you do. You sure do, hun. You're my yeah. dog, the green. Oh, no, my dog. Your signals have all been cursed. Curse! Of... An evil wizard cursed them! Yeah. You must bury them before it's too late. It's like it's like looking at the worst assassin I've ever seen. Instead of Magog of Morskar, it's Magog the Grass Beard. Let like me think camouflage Scardia. You can't see me. For no. I am hidden. Mm -hmm. Amongst the long grass. Oh, where does that, oh, where does that voice come from? I run from? my cut. Yes. Where, oh, where could Magog have gone? Yes. Indeed, I really do hope that Jinx did not relieve himself on that clump of grass at any point in the most recent few past. That does raise questions. How, like, is there is there any part part of that that is genuinely crunchy, or like, or am I just hearing things? No, I'm only bit spiders. Yeah, I would. Think it so. looked like it was a particularly dry grass blend. Oh, well, yeah. This is funny. Wait four hours, and he starts dealing with the consequences. Yes. Feeling hungry, buddy? I'm gonna get my grass. Yep. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. What do you? Why? That's a sword. Yeah, I was gonna say, thief. What do you think? This is what I think I'm going to attack the withering forest with first. Um, I think we need to get him to play with sharp objects. This can only end well. Yeah. I think you're going to dull your blade significantly if you go at and out and hack trees with that indiscriminately. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think if if you're going to be uh, well, this is this is just the start, you know. The progenitor of Arbor Side, um, I think uh, you you would probably want a bit of a more of a meteor blade, something right. substantial. Well, I haven't. Mm -hmm. If I had more signals, maybe I could do that, but I don't. Because we didn't make any. Because and we I didn't unionize. Spend... Well, okay. I had to spend Work for me on this. Of... some of what I had. Swords. Mmm, tasty. Where are my rolling papers? <laughs> what? Rolling uh, papers, I think he's please. gonna make some uh, grass rolls. Okay, it's gonna be much harder to walk, talk him into trying to smoke a sword. The Withering Woods is a fascinating place. Indeed. Filled with all sorts of things. Yeah, what's this one? It's a shrubbery. What kind of shrubbery? I don't know. <clears throat> they can't see me uh, because nice I can't see them. Path up the middle. It's 
It's one of the. I don't know what you'd call that. It, it's it's a it's a type of plant that never comes into focus. It's always fuzzy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> uh, whoa. Mm. Mm hmm. Does it does it burn good, Magog? What? Does it does it burn good? Some good shit. This yeah. is a uh, this hides me from the uh YouTubies. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> that's 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 what it does. I see. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile the teletubbies are not fooled, and they're everywhere, Magog! Everywhere judging you with their beady soulless eyes. Mm-hmm. They are. Uh, uh. Susan's watching. Hola. Always watching the dog. Oh, wee oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No. Uh, no. 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 Uh. No. 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 Predagas is dead. <laughs> Just hold, hold up, hold up. Let me. Why do I have such a big pot for this gla grass, this goblin grass? I don't know. Ah, there we go. You could just. I am very angry outside. with how much more intelligent you're getting in rapid span of time. <sighs> Why is this grass like cut so evenly on the very tall? Your grass, you tell me. Is this the first ah. time you've ever grazed upon it? I, I think he's Ow. forgotten who trims his grass. Did you, you've forgotten who trims your bush. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know very well who trims my bush. I have people for that. That's oh. why you have a rash. No, no, no. The rash is nowhere near my bush. Thrashes all up my legs. Uh, from the briny sea. No, from the woody wood. Wait. The woody wood. <laughs> the, wood the woody wood. No, wait. <laughs> I take it back. I don't want to freeze it like that. She gets I mean, a. She gets her bush wood. trimmed in the woody wood. No. <laughs> what have I done? Just... Hold on, I, I picked more plants from the... Um, where did we go again? The woody the, wood. The withering heights. Withering yep. heights. That one. That, that one. Yeah, that was it. Uh, pla more plants. <laughs> more plants. More plants. What's, what what kind of plant is this one? Why is it broken? There is we it, go. Is it a government plant? What? It doesn't jive, man. What? Does it? Doesn't it though? There we go. We'll do that. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. See. I bet it tastes like pretty colors too. My God, give it a shot. What? It. I bet it tastes like pretty colors. P Pentagast can come back now if he wants. I, uh, yeah, I can. Do I okay. want to at this point? <laughs> That's the question. I don't, you don't know. Wanna, you don't want to retroactively Wait. laugh at my Woody Wood joke? Hold on, Pentagast. No, not on really. Up on <laughs> yes, <five>? you do. <laughs> 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 I knew it. If you wanted to just end it forever right now, I don't think anyone would blame you. You know, no, no, I don't think I want to end it all. I think I think I want to stick around. Mainly just to see how penniless you can become. You I'm aware of that. Do you have any idea how much you're costing me? Yes, I'm well aware. The hat tells me. It it's it keeps a total it keeps a tab. Tabs. Wait a second, who told you? The hat. The what hat reveals all. Look, it has its own network. It it talks to all kinds of things, people and 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 places. I don't know. 
It talks all. I don't know where it gets its information. To all the peoples and places. Just it's an old sentient hat. You people look at me like crazy because I eat grass. But you talk to a hat. And I bet the hat talks to him. Actually, yeah, it's the hat talks to me. I don't really it talk to the through hat. your hat? What if the hat is receiving signals from the beyond? And that's where it's getting all its information from. Well, I suppose that's capacity for it. I'm not going to... I don't... Some things you just don't want the answers to, you know? It's it's so tall, it probably gets great reception. I don't know. It doubles. I understand now. That's why you're always wearing it. It's a hat and a condom. Could uh, be. Can you ask the hat? Oh, no. I don't... If I said, I don't talk to the hat, the hat talks to me. You understand, it's not exactly a two-way street, as they would say. Oh, or two, 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 a two-carriage road. Whatever. Guys. You can't just, just look up and go, hey, buddy, how you doing? Got a question for you. No. G guys? Yeah? Oh my God, what's wrong, hon? There's a wasp in the grass. Oh? <laughs> Did you eat the wasp? It's looking at me. <laughs> what is, is what the wasp the say? Eyes. What what what's the wasp saying, dear? I'm not joking. Oh? There's a fucking wasp. <laughs> And you were just putting your mouth all over that heap of grass. No, the grass in the pot. There's a wasp in it. <laughs> Not the grass I was eating. Oh. The grass in the pot. Yeah. Is it alive? Hello. You want to poke it and see if it is? It'll no. Just like your, do, take your pinky and, and dab it a little bit. You can't hear me. There's a wasp. <laughs> the wasp. It, 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 there's a fucking wasp in the grass. I was like hiding behind this thing and I didn't notice until now. <laughs> You know, we're taking him very seriously, but he just eat a whole bunch of plant matter that is almost certainly dubious. Look, he ate grass. He, he he's he's altered his brain, and now he might get stung a whole lot. Where's the downside? <laughs> I, mean, I was trying to steer him to a bad trip earlier, but I was aiming for a giant fang Teletubbies oh, on oh, your skin oh. or something. He's got the flail. He's he's gonna he's gonna go for it. He's gonna sniff the shit out of that wasp with the flail. Yeah, you're, gonna take, you're gonna smack the shit out of the wasp with your balls there, Magog? That fucking thing <laughs> comes at me. I'm gonna medieval it. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna fucking medieval it. You're gonna go medieval on its ass? Oh. oh, my face. You know, if it stings you, it dies, right? <laughs> it's uh, not. I said that wasps are intimidated <gasps> by human breath, and as you breathe directly on it, it will flee. I'm going to touch it. It might be dead. I think it yeah. might, because it hasn't moved. I've been moving quite a lot. Give it a little flick. No! <laughs> <laughs> I think before you do things are horribly wrong, and we all have a great laugh at your expense, there is another secret chat there. Indeed, there is another super chat. Uh, yeah, the Ajax Stormwig is back. Uh, 20 Cygnus, uh, say, Magog, kill the wasp and do an attack or something. Oh, now you gotta flick it. No, there's a wasp. Yes, so flick it. No. No. Uh, no. no. Stop it. You should just do the attack or something to buy time. I don't know what to do. Special attacks are... 25 signatures. I'll give it to Ajax. He's a, a long time fan. Here we go. There we go. 
Shut up! There's a fucking wasp in here. I was thinking. Quit! Do you have to? Do you have to die so loud? Oh shit! Where'd it go? Oh, I don't see it anymore. Oh, I can feel it crawling on me. Where the fuck is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking wasp in here now. Damn it! Where'd he fucking go? Shut up. I can hear you all laughing while you're dead. Like, not literally, but I can hear you all. There's a fucking wasp in here. Where the fuck is it? Well, shit. Oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ark. You're supposed to be dead. I can... Fuck you. Stop it. I see all of you. I see all of you at the little windows. You fucks. It's not funny. There's a wasp in here now. I don't know what to do about it. Are you people laughing at me too? I was trying to do a bit, and it turned into a sting. That's <laughs> <Shut. laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Seriously, I could feel it. Like, you ever, like, see an insect that you don't like? And then it goes away, but you still... Like, now you think it's on your back or something. Like, that's what I'm feeling right now. Like, I feel like it's on my back or something. <laughs> yes. Uh, please, please come back so we can end the show. We got, There's a wasp. You feel it crawling up your back there, McGulloch? It's, shut. Perhaps it's in the cloak. Shut shut your face, you stupid... Well, the hood is an awfully big orifice for something to crawl into. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I the butthole. Uh, Ajax put another five and said, Oops, I didn't realize it was 25. <laughs> the only thing worse than seeing a wasp in the room is suddenly not seeing it. Fuck you, Ajax. <laughs> Fuck you, it's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> AM says the wasp is looking for the gateway to your soul. No, no. <laughs> I'm I'm going to call the dry day to help me. <laughs> I hope you're allergic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's smoke some shit out of this horn. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm going to end this terrible show now. <laughs> Die! <laughs> no. Fuck it out. Oh, tonight was just fucking chaos, man. <laughs>